Joining us now, fresh off of his second consecutive national championship as a member of the UConn Huskies men's basketball team, Cam Spencer, right here on the Rich Eisen Show. How you doing, Cam? Doing well, Rich. Thanks for having me. You got it. What's uh, what? What you been doing this week? What's this week been like for you? Just uh, trying to spend as much time as as we can with the guys. You know, we don't have too much time left, so um, just trying to spend as much time with them as possible. Okay, and how? How have you spent that time with them? What it's have you been? Good. We uh, we uh, we got some. I've been watching the Masters and stuff. Um, okay. I'm, I'm a big golfer in the summer, so I uh, I was looking forward to watching that. But uh, just just hanging out and throwing some darts and stuff like that. Throwing some. T- <laughs> <laughs> throwing some darts. That's what awesome. with, with your with you with the guys? I mean, are you watching the Masters with them, or are you go? I mean, going out, are you hitting the hitting the town. What do you? I mean, what can you share with me? Uh. One of our one of our teammates, uh, Andrew Hurley, has a pretty cool setup in his room with the dartboard and uh, a big a big screen TV. So uh, you watch the matches and you know put some time in on on the dart so you can hustle some people for some money. <laughs> Sounds like a Hurley. I'll be straight up with you, Cam. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Sounds pretty much straight up. Uh, okay, so l- let's just jump into. Um, when things clicked, I, I know you transferred in from Rutgers and you arrive and what did you find when, when you showed up at UConn before last season, Cam? Yeah, just, um, you know, an unbelievable culture. I think there's, you know, such a winning standard at UConn and, you know, you could see that right away, uh, from talking with coach early. Um, and then once, once you get on campus, you just, you come to the practice facility and you see all, all the championships and, you know, all the winning that has taken place here with all the, you know, successful players. Um, and it's definitely just something that you want to be a part of. So you know, I'd say the culture of accountability and, and that winning standard were the two things that really stuck out to me. When did you first meet Dan Hurley? I met Dan uh, when I got on campus. Uh, we had spoken over the phone a few times and set up a visit. And then, you know, I got to meet him on campus for the first time. So you enter the portal in Rutgers, and and they reach out to you. I, I guess when was the first time you heard from UConn, Cam? Yeah, um, you just you know put your name in the portal, and you know they have all your information and, and can reach out to you. So you know that I think it was the first day in the portal they had reached out, and you know I jumped on the phone with with Coach Luke Murray to begin, and then you know I got on got on the phone with Coach Early, and then set up kind of a Zoom with them, and you know took it from there. Okay. And so what did they, what were they selling that you, you were up for buying? What did they tell you that you're like, okay, I'm going to UConn. Just that, like I said, the winning culture, um, you know, having one year left, I wanted to go somewhere where, you know, I could come in and, you know, I wanted to earn my, my minutes as a player and, you know, earn my respect to the other guys. But you know, I just wanted to be a part of a winning program and, you know, hopefully have a chance to go win a national championship and, you know, those were really the things that he sold me on. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm very happy that, you know, I, I got to come to UConn. And so um, when when you when you talk to Coach Hurley, what, what do you what's your first impression when you speak with him? Um, you know, very similar person. You know, we, we got to talking pretty quickly about, you know, how our families kind of molded us into who we are today. Um, super intense guy who, you know, just loved to win and hate to lose. So, you know, we, we really hit it off from that first phone call. And, um, you know, I'm so appreciative of, of Coach Hurley and, you know, I wish I had more time with him, honestly. Yeah, I know. It's, you've, you mentioned that a couple of times here. So, um, you, you and obviously the fact that they had just won a championship is something that uh, I, I'm sure you were, you were intrigued by. And so when you finally just show up, um, what, what is the first minute where you realized you guys had a shot to do it again, Cam? To be honest, uh, I would say it was even before I got there. You know, I got to see a workout of the team mm-hmm. uh, when I came on my visit because it was a little later, and they had already been on campus, I think, for a couple of days. And, you know, I, I got to see kind of, you know, who, who I would be playing with and some of the guys that returned from last year's team. And, you know, just kind of putting the pieces together in my head, I, 
you know, I thought that, you know, we could do something special with, with that group on, on the court. And, um, you know, ever since day one, they, they welcomed me with open arms. And, you know, it, it's, uh, it was a special team. Cam Spencer from the UConn Men's National Championship team right here on the Rich Eisen Show. So what is it about this team that, that knows there's a target on its back and they just de- destroy the competition anyway? What, what is it? Can you put your finger on it for me, Cam? Yeah, um, you know, I think it raises your level when you know that you're going to get get every team's best shot and, you know, they, they kind of have a, you have a target on your back. You know, I think it makes you focus that much more, um, you know, in practice every day and, and film and, and, you know, lifting weights, like whatever you're doing, you know that you're going to have to bring your A game to, to beat teams that are, you know, trying to come after you. So, you know, I think in a way it just kind of elevates your game and, and add fuel to the fire in a way. And, you know, I – the I, I heard the uh, the team has a cardboard cutout of the national championship trophy on an easel for you to see. Uh, what was what did you think of the first time you saw that, Cam? Uh, I thought it was awesome. To be honest, that's one of my favorite things about Coach Early is you know we try to envision like what we want to accomplish, and you know every day at practice we set out for like I think it was five championships of just like you know, throughout the whole season, between the regular season, uh, Big East Championship, the postseason, um, and, and a couple other ones, obviously the national championship. Um, and, you know, when uh, when you come to practice every day, you, you literally see your goals of, of each trophy that you want to win. And um, I think it just, you know, kind of motivates you to, to be at your best at practice. So, you know, you can go eventually uh, get those championships. And we've we've established again that you've been there, and done that. You know, Loyola, then Rutgers, and here five years in college basketball. You're 24 years old, Cam Spencer. Um, I'm sure you've experienced a lot. How many times have you experienced a moment on the basketball court? The ball's in your hand. You feel somebody shove you in the back, and it's your head coach during the play, Cam. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, that that was the first. Uh, okay, I had never. Had... <laughs> uh, it was pretty funny because, you know, he pushed me, and I think we both started arguing with the ref. Like, you know, nothing happened. Uh, I had never heard that rule, um, but the ref was spot on with his call. It just, I had never, I had never had that happen, so I didn't even know what to do. But, you know, we went back on defense. I think they scored, and the ref was like, "Hey, you're gonna." you're going to come lie to me like that. Like I was like, dude, I didn't even know he touched me. Honestly, I was so focused in the moment. I go back to the huddle. And Coach Hurley's like, did I, did I push you? And I was like, coach, I don't even know. Like I was just focused on the game. I, I had no idea until after. So he didn't have any idea. He actually made contact with you. Is that what you're saying? He was so in the zone cam. Are you saying that? <laughs> I I think we must've both have been because he, he literally was like, did I push you? And I said, coach, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, he pushed so. you. He pushed you, but your feet <laughs> your feet weren't moving, Cam, so I guess you were drawing a charge from uh from you know with your with your backside. But what what was what was he trying do you think to tell you? Would just run the play or what 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 was it? Yeah, I think uh our call for like a, a double screen was uh twin and he was saying twin and I I was waiting for the second guy to kind of come towards me, but you know, obviously he wanted me to go a little sooner and um you know, I, I should have listened to him before, but, uh, yeah, I'll take blame for that one. No, <laughs> here you go. That's a that's a good UConn Husky right there. And, and clearly the game plan was to uh, try and defend Zach Eady one-on-one with your, with your teammates and then defend the perimeter. Was that uh, essentially the conversation going into the game? Because that's what it looked like to, to, to me, Cam. Yeah, you know, we had so much respect for Zach Eady as a player. Um, you know, obviously two times national player of the year for a reason. Um, and, you know, you rarely see games where he doesn't get 20 and 10 or at least, you know, put up some great numbers. So, you know, we, we knew Donovan would have a handful with him and we wanted to help him in, in any way that we could. But um, I think, you know, it was definitely a focus to kind of take away the rest of the, the guys on the team so that, you know, they, they would struggle to score elsewhere because, you know, we we were okay with with the two point shots. We just really wanted to, you know, kind of make make the threes tough on them and and hopefully try to take them away. And then offensively, clearly not um, not shying away from going at the big fella. Uh, we showed a shot before that we're going to pop up again here. Look at you, 
Look at you going right at him right there, Cam. <laughs> yeah. what, what? That's the highest I've jumped in, in years. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you got to get up, right? I mean, you got you to gotta get up to try. And he's off the ground, too. He might be eight feet tall right know. there. You know? <laughs> Did you score on this one? Do you remember? Did you score? I think this was in the second half, and I think that one ended up going in. I, I think so. Out of boy. All right. So, uh, what's what is next for you, Cam? Yeah. Um, you know, obviously, I, w- I wish I had more time at UConn, but you know, I'm I'm gonna try to go play professional basketball, and you know, go go for the NBA, hopefully. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll start training pretty soon for for the NBA combine, and you know, hopefully, do some workouts with some NBA teams and. Um, you know, go that route like, uh, you know, my brother is up there now. So I, yep. I want to uh, kind of go chase that after it with him. Do you telling you some good Steph Curry stories, Cam? <laughs> he does, yep, yep. He tried to learn as much as possible from him and, you know, shares the knowledge with me. But, um, you know, he's very appreciative of the Warriors organization and, and is in a great spot right now. All right. And you got a good Bill Murray story for me, Cam? First of all, let, let me, I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you. I, I got to be honest. You're 24. How many Bill Murray movies have you seen, Cam? Mm. So I've never seen Ghostbusters start to finish. Okay. Seen that one. Um, okay. Caddyshack. I've seen. Um, there are a couple other ones. If you, if you were to say them, I think I've seen. But uh, they're, they're not coming off the top Stripes. of my head right now. Have you seen Stripes? heard of strike but i haven't seen that one okay lost in translation lost in translation is more is more dramatic that's recent uh scrooged i've seen that one um groundhog groundhog day Day. have you seen groundhog Groundhog day Day. i've seen clips of groundhog day as well oh my gosh all right but you have seen caddyshack Right, you have Caddyshack. I've seen. Of course, yeah. I mean, you like golf. You have to see it. That's a required. <laughs> that's that's required. I mean, that's required viewing for sure. Um, you know, no certainly since you're watching Augusta, and we we know that Bill Murray put it right in the hole at Augusta from that film. So you got a good Bill Murray story then? Seeing him around from Coach Lou. Um, he's always, you know, he always brings a good laugh to us for sure when, when we see him. Um, I would say the only story I have is. Uh, you know, I lived in Rhode Island um, for a few years when I was younger, and there's a, a good donut spot down there. Mm-hmm. And we had good family friends. You know, I rarely get those donuts, and, and they're pretty good. So, you know, I was looking forward to them after a win. And uh, I get a text from the locker room that Bill Murray is giving away my donuts. You better hurry up and get out of here. <laughs> so uh, okay. he had given away or eaten, eaten a couple of my donuts. So, oh. You know, I'm still uh, – I still have an argument to pick with him about, you know, receiving those other half dozen donuts. I got you, brother. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Listen, you, you snooze or lose. Cam, uh, you didn't lose this year uh, when it all was coming down to it. Congratulations being part of something historic, and I look forward to chatting with you and seeing what's next for you. Thanks for the time. Appreciate you, Rich. Thanks for having me. Right back at you. That's Cam Spencer, NCAA champ from the UConn Huskies, right here on the Rich Eisen Show. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.